I had heard from Kathleen Phillips that your y'all chose to homeschool your children. We did. What inspired that decision? Yeah, that's uh, that's. I'll try to condense the story as much as possible. But uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I I came home uh, when our daughter was was very young. I came home one day and and told my wife. I said, um, "How do you feel about homeschooling?" Just it was just kind of a random thought. I just it'd been on my mind, and I came home and mentioned it. My wife, just to give you some context, we married. We were both married for the first time a little bit later in life. I was thirty three. She was thirty four. She had had a very successful career in, in medical sales. So when I mentioned homeschooling to her, uh, I got a look that I'd never seen before, and it was not a good look. Uh, it was She was pretty clear about me not ever bringing homeschooling up again. All that right. was, she was, uh, she didn't feel like that was something that she had the qualifications to do or an interest in doing. So I never brought it up again. I'm a smart man. And uh, so... Fast forward, uh, we're in Gardendale, came home from work one day. My wife said, I think I want to homeschool. And I said, really? Okay, well, tell me more about that. Well, it, it, it was a combination of several things. First of all, we had a young man that worked for us at the Gardendale store named Micah Harris, who is now a Chick-fil-A operator in Sylacauga. Great kid. Um, came to work for me when he was 16, and he was homeschooled. And he just stood out. And, and a lot of the stereotypes that we had had about homeschool kids, he shattered. I mean, yeah. he was very sociable. He was well-adjusted. He could interact with adults, kids, peers. It didn't matter. And he was really smart and just, just you know, a great kid. And Jan had, my wife had been watching him at work, mm -hmm. and she was really impressed with him. And at this point, uh, Zachary was getting ready. My son was getting ready to go into first grade. Mm -hmm. And my daughter was getting ready to go into fifth grade. And our kindergarten teacher had mentioned, hey, I think Zachary may have ADHD, maybe some dyslexia. Um, just putting that on your radar to be aware of it. So yeah. all this was kind of part of the conversation. Then we get to first grade, and his first grade teacher, who is Kathy Cassidy, Bill's wife, uh, Kathy told us the same thing. She said, hey, I don't know if you know this, but Zachary may have a little ADHD. So the more we started talking about it, we were we were actually talking about pulling him out to homeschool. And we started doing some some research and talking to some people, talked to Micah's mom. And she was pretty clear. I mean, everybody that we talked to said, look, if, if you're going to homeschool one of your kids, you're going to want to homeschool both your kids. I mean, and... and um, because you've got the, you've got your schedule already mm -hmm. set up to take, if you're doing one kid, to take them to school, to pick them up from school, to take them to activities and all that sort of stuff. You know, it doesn't make sense to have that schedule for one and not the other because you're just, you're creating two schedules. Yep. And that's exactly where we landed. So we talked with both the kids about it and, um, and they were like, Hey, let's do it. That's great. Of course, I think at that point they were thinking, Hey, I don't have to get up and go to school every day. <laughs> That's a win. Um, and so my wife in her typical fashion was not going to just settle for picking any kind of homeschool program. She went out and did her research and, and she came across, um, a curriculum called classical conversations and it's a classical school approach to, mm -hmm. to teaching. Um, a lot of Latin and different things like that. And there was a, uh, classical conversations group over in Hoover. And so she contacted them. She's like, I'll, I'll drive them, you know, over there. It's one day a week, mm -hmm. you know, you, so she called them and, and they said, yeah, we've decided to, we're not going to do that this year. Um, but maybe you should start one. And my wife loves a challenge. So she brought uh, the classical conversations campus to Gardendale mm -hmm. and started it. And the way it works is you, you teach your kid four days a week. And then one day a week, they come together in a classroom setting with other kids who are in that same curriculum. And you have a tutor, one of the moms that has a gift for teaching that comes in and teaches that one day. And it helps build some some social skills and, and getting them interacting with other homeschoolers and that sort of thing. And yeah. so we jumped in deep in the pool and um, every year we would ask the kids, hey, do you want to homeschool next year or do you want to go back to public school? And it was really, there was never a question at that point. Every year it was, it just was a no brainer for our kids. They wanted to do it. And then about four years in, um, 
Jan got really got interested in making sure she she really became uh, convicted and passionate about trying to maximize the homeschool experience mm-hmm. for kids. So she had a, she started doing a homeschool prom, and then uh, decided to add a sports league for homeschool. So she yeah. created a, a sports league called Legacy Sports, and we had. Uh, boys and girls basketball, girls volleyball, and boys baseball. 